the colours of their country. They entertain us day after day. But for so many of them, it is so much more. And Josua Vakurina Billy will raise child to the air. The reverence they show in an incredible wow. moment. Still a game to play, Zach. It's unbelievable. The emotion, the passion, the energy around this stadium. 14 minutes of fun in front of us. Cannot wait. For the 29th time in a cup final, it is New Zealand against Fiji. The final act of the 2022 HSBC World 7 Series season. Bring it on, Los Angeles. Come on. Rocco Lesoa gets us underway for New Zealand. Ball evades everyone and it's going to go out over the sideline. Tony Nyashu couldn't keep up with it, so it'll be Fiji ball throw to the line out. Just hold that spice. Now this first patch is a play. It'll be very interesting to see how New Zealand defends the flying Fijians. We know their flair, we know their creativity. How can New Zealand control? Jerry Tuai with the throw to the line out. And target in the middle is a big one. Away goes Tuai, taking it upon himself. New Zealand's defenders round upon him. It is Rokoli Soa who makes the tackle, but Vakurinabili is there to clear quickly. Fiji piling forward early on. Arms free, offload is good. Tackle is made. New Zealand having to scramble. What pace, what power, what a start for Fiji. Wow, 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 wow. These men just play on another level. The speed, the intensity that they can play with. What a dream start for Fiji. Win their line out. Jerry Tuai spots the gap in between the backs and the forwards and immediately gets a line break that gets Fiji on the front foot. All the experience of Jerry Tuai showing through the first yeah, yeah. patch of play. And then when they get rolling on the edge, they are really hard to stop. Kamanieli Rasaku with the finish. He gets rid of Ware and Nicole. That is a perfect start for Fiji. Yeah, they're so hard to stop when they fend you with one hand and have the ball on the other side. Seven nil inside a minute and a half for Fiji. Good. I'm going to call time back on when you're ready, okay? Ready? Time back on. You have 10 seconds. Six, six. taking every bit of his 30 seconds to restart. And New Zealand this time secure position from the kickoff. No, pulled out. Through Amanaki Nicole. And they'll get to play. Tony Nashu, Nashu had Mulia back on his inside, opted to go to ground instead, and Tangitao will clear away. We're in the middle for New Zealand, and he's going into the sun no, is Nicole. Now. He's got Mugavi Black with him, ball just sitting there for New Zealand, and Ware eventually plays it away. Rokul is sore, and Tangitao, this exciting young player. Molia, Molia's got Nashu, Nashu for the corner, bundled into touch, or did he get it down as he went? We're going to have to have a look. There are places. Try us to know a potential uh, shoulder charge from eight to nine, a problem try. Yeah, no attempt to wrap there from the Fijian defender, but he steps into touch. going to be trouble here for YC and the Fungo, I think it was, who came across. I'm dealing with it. You've got to attempt to wrap your arms in a tackle. Different from Relax. rugby league. Relax. Jordan, I have a decision. Yes, sir. 
So it's no try, but the actions of eight Fiji, yes. no arms in the tackle, prevents yes. a probable try being scored. OK, I'll explain. So it's a no try because you're still on line, but your actions of a no arms in the tackle has denied a probable try. Yes. So it's going to be yellow card per try against eight. OK? No. The Fungu shoulder charging coming across, so it is a penalty try for New Zealand, and their skipper goes to the sin bin for two minutes. Not ideal for the flying Fijians, but a fantastic response from the Kiwis. Like I said pregame, they understand the game management, how to ride the waves of a game. They stuck together, stretched the Fijians side to side. So that makes it seven all, a penalty try, an automatic seven, don't need to take the conversion. So New Zealand, after being rocked early, fight back, and Fiji down to six. Gee, that's tricky going into that sun, but boy, Tuai, brilliant. And Rasaku to hang him in the air. Balatholo been quite outstanding for Fiji this weekend. Advantage for Fiji. Vakurina Billy. It's a high tackle. No, no, no. Okay. Satoranga. See how Fiji managed this time with six. Oh, they've got the ball, and while it's in Rasaku's hands, and he slips out of the tackle, sweeper coming across. Oh, it's the tackle from behind, in fact, from McGarvey Black, who saved the day for New Zealand, and then it's physical as well. Not all he McGarvey Black with a big play. Fantastic scramble defense by New Zealand. McGarvey Black just making an absolute nuisance of himself at the breakdown, causing the knock on. I mean, Fiji, even with six players, they can create something out of nothing. But a great chase back there by the edge. Kiwi defender. Gets up really quickly onto his feet and competes for the ball. Great scramble defense by New Zealand. Wasn't meant to be playing this weekend, Naro Himagabi Black. Late replacement for Leroy Carter. Now starting in another final, becoming quite the key component of this New Zealand side. Now Fungu still in the Simbin for Fiji as Rokoli Soa tears away for New Zealand, goes himself, Rokoli Soa tried to have thought about the offload, just held on in the tackle, able to get the ball away, player offside coming across. Yeah, Fiji just a little overzealous at there, didn't quite get on sides, New Zealand get to slow it down, get their scrum going, that ties in, oh, they probably wanted to go quick there. The fact that they had to stop for a scrum brings the yellow card back onto the field. Who in a standout lineup has possibly been the best for Fiji all season. Mr. Consistent, always there or thereabouts, back on the field. Seven on seven, on both the field and the scoreboard. Roko Lesoa. There is McGarvey Black again. Flicks a ball for Weir and it's opened up for Regan Weir who accelerates away. A yawning gap created, came open and Regan Weir puts New Zealand in front. Beautiful left foot magic by McGarvey Black. Two quick left foot steps a little out the back past the Regan Weir and opens the floodgates for New Zealand's second try. Little hitch kick. Beautiful left foot step there and another one to come to boot. And then sucks in three defenders. Beautiful out the back offload. Regan Ware reads the offload lane and charges home for New Zealand's second try in this final. Regan Ware, more than 100 tries, brought up 100 back in Vancouver. That one puts New Zealand in front and 14 points to Come seven. On, Oh, South field. Africa have seen their lead, their slip away, missing out on the series championship to Australia. Still interested observers, of course. Okay. okay. As you kick, I'll call Tom back on, okay? So you got the time. Yeah, when you're ready. Yep. Tom back on. Rockley saw it. Sends us down towards the 22, and it's Rasaku who's underneath it. Nothing. Talasolo. Taken around the waist by Orman. Nice hands for Fiji to keep the ball alive. Falafolo again. 
Fiji come back to the right. And now running back into traffic is Rasaku. He's so elusive. Pops a ball for Thalatholo. Just tackled by Molia. But Fiji evading players. Mafi. Every pass sticks on the fingertips. Pangitao with advantage for the high tackle. And then the offload. And it's going to be Mathungu back onto the field. He made the error up the other way. This time it's going to charge in under the post. Fiji Magic at its best. It's just so tough to defend them because they never die with the ball. They're always asking questions of the defenders. And as soon as you think you've got them trapped, boom, they turn on the gas. Right through the gap. Great offload. Off the floor to keep it alive. Asking questions of those Kiwi defenders. And then once they turn it on, they just flood those support lanes. They know where true they are without even having to say anything to each other. And Captain gets back on the field and scores a second for Fiji. He'll convert his own try from out in front. And of course it's all square. Half time, New Zealand and Fiji, 14 apiece. It is so good, we can't wait for more. Seven minutes left in the season. New Zealand haven't won a title this season so far. Fiji have two. Who will it be? Nathungu gets us underway. Orman tries to capture it for New Zealand and it falls for Talafolo though. Another New Zealand player reels away. As I said, they're short-staffed in this match. Three injured players. Regan Weir looks to be okay, and they've got the penalty. Yeah, you don't usually see Fiji create rocks. Monganathangi just got a little bit wrong, got his hands past the person he was trying to support. Referee called him for off his feet. Now New Zealand get to kick the line out, gain some territory, set up their set-piece platform, figure out how they're going to disorganize this Fijian attack and get the momentum on their side for the second half. Aquila Rokoli Soa, two tries in the semi-final. He's been lively all tournament. And for Fiji and Heritage himself. Tapped in the air and he just snatches it away from the oncoming Marcy. Oh, crossfield kick for New Zealand. Change of tactics. It lands into the hands of Moses Leo, the youngster flying towards the line, beating three Fiji defenders and the offload for Nashu. <laughs> Nashu, right place, right time. Looks like he's done his cap, though. Tough scenes for him, but what a cross kick. From McGarvey Black, perfectly weighted. Be interesting to know if that was something talked about at halftime that they might have seen and used tactically. Guad in a great short line on the support. That's how New Zealand wanted to start this second half. Boy, the injury went early, didn't it? He pulls up Tony Nashu, very similar to what happened to his co-captain Joe Weber earlier in the day. Weber not able to play, so New Zealand with Nashu still getting treatment. The conversion good. The Kiwis go back in front. 21-14 now, and now it's their turn to have a little dance. Gonna be good. Tony Nashu is going to hobble back into place. It is attritional. You'd expect nothing less. Yeah, due to the heat, you might wonder if that was just cramps. Long, long season, long tournament. New Zealand back in the lead as Rokoli Soa strokes the restart down from the shadows into the arms of Yosefo. Marcy throws a wild ball, but it's okay because Nuthungu will have all the time in the world just to size up his options. Fiji have no problems going from deep. 
particularly that man, Rasaku. And he fires a ball wide for Masi, barrels into Leo. Still standing in the tackle, Strip. ripped away. It's stripped by New Zealand. And eventually there was a knock on of a Kiwi hand. And he is not looking good, is he, Tony Nashu? Nah, he's given every ounce of himself for his brothers. New Zealand just a little unlucky there. Was holding the man up, trying to rip the ball free. Unfortunate, just came forward off of them, giving Fiji new life. They can set the scrum and at least that Fijian flair. Zealand were so frustrated they had to spend months at home while everyone else got to play. They haven't really been able to have a say in this season. I dearly love this one, but in front of them, the champion team, Fiji. Away they go, resplendent in the blue. Piling forward at pace as per usual, and with deception as well, Rasaku Leo gets rid of him, and it'll be Kamani Ali Rasaku. I was going to say in the corner, oh, ducking in under the tackle, still there for Fiji. They flipped it on. There'll be a yellow card against New Zealand. Molia for the high shot. And Fiji blown one though. Incredible scenes here at Dignity L Sport. He thought Fiji was in for all the rights. But they decided to shift the ball in to try and tie the game up. But great deception from Rasaku. Shedding off Leo there. Trying to put it inside to his captain. But then Molia just going up over the shoulder, the seatbelt tackle. Referee calls him immediately, gives him a yellow card. Now New Zealand down to six men. Interesting, though, that that one so wasn't a penalty try. It was pretty close to the line. Felipe Sataranga. Body on your hooker, body on your hooker. Bind! It wasn't, but there's big trouble here. Set. And Fiji's eyes will be lighting Steady. up. Stay off him, stay off him, six. Suai so feeds the scrum. Mugabe Black tries to scrab, and away it goes for Fiji again, ball through the hand, Sauteranga who was stopped in his tracks, not this time, Fiji hit back once more. Not an easy test, stopping the flying Fijian from five meters out, especially with only six men on the field. They're always going to use their footwork and their power to get to a soft shoulder, work so hard to drive his legs and slam the ball down. We come within two of New Zealand here with three minutes to go in this final. A kick with a chance to tie it back up. Oh, yes. A beauty. 21 all in New Zealand down to six. Making the most of that power play. Scoring the try. So is them. I'll call time on when you kick it, okay? When you're ready. Come back on. Nyasungu. Fiji will look to attack this ball in the air. New Zealand, it's not back by Leo. Woman has it for Nashu, who didn't look in great sh shape knock earlier. It's me knocked on yeah. off the Fiji okay. hand. So on, New Zealand have got advantage and just trying to accelerate away. Nashu, he's not going to have the gas on that calf, is he? Or is he going to prove me wrong? How tough is he, Tony Nashu? No, side one. Ball is back in field for Leo, close to the sideline. Oh, lucky for New Zealand. Because Sivaloni Mothinathangi was away. Come off, please. Yeah, Nashu just testing that Fijian defence down the, down the wing there, especially with his calf. But then some just ill-advised offloads down that touchline. Unfortunately, they stepped out of bounds. And it'll be Fiji ball here. Still Molia in the sin bin. Can Fiji capitalize on the sin bin? Oh, looks like he got the ball up before the, the foot hit the line. But the call has been made. 10, 10, 2 by 2 please. 2 by 2 Despair no, no, for Tony Nyashu. He's wandering off. No, that's okay. They're going to have less. Yeah, you're good there. Let's go, please. 
He goes too high. Room knocked off the hands and it's going to fall for Ormond. He's tried to float a little ball over the top. New Zealand will probably slow this right down and that'll allow Sione Malia back on the field. Who is Ormond? Where to use your head, bud? What do you want? Just get in the off lane, ball. stopping the Fijian Magic, what they like to do. Then they get the penalty. It allows Malia to get back on the field, slowing the game down. How is Ben Golling so relaxed? He's absorbed the Fiji ethos, clearly. Yeah, he believes in his men, believes in the work they put into prep for this game, for this final. Bonds! Baker away from the scrum. Throws an awful ball. And oh, the bounce is great. I thought it had gone forward. In fact, the bounce set up for Regan Ware. Manage. And New Zealand have got a penalty Third advantage. McGarvey Black will tap it and play it. I tried to be clever. Off feet. Scrum. Yeah, that scrum. ball looked to be going forward there. The referee said it was flat. Min and 22 left in this final. We've seen it all. We've seen kick passes. We've seen yellow cards. We've seen offloads. We've seen speed. We've seen power. This final has not disappointed here at Dignity Gale Sport Park here in lovely Los, Los Angeles. Talk about how close it is between these teams. They also played one at the Commonwealth Games just a couple of weeks ago, which went to extra time and was quite something. Crouch! Come back on. Bind! So Kurt Baker in his 50th international tournament will feed the scrum for New Zealand. Just over a minute to play. 21 plays 21, and Regan Weir tears off and throws a massive ball wide for Leo. Moses Leo skips through the tackle, charges around to put New Zealand back in the lead. I just want to take the potential of that ball. Oh, they're going to check the dead ball line here. He did get close. What a ball from Regan Weir there to put Leo free in the corner. Does he stay in bounds? It looks like he does. Yeah, it looks like that foot just avoids the whitewash there. Oh my goodness, this game is it's a game of inches here. Regan Ware with a champagne skip out pass to put Leo free to put them ahead in this final. Moses, Leo. He's had all sorts of injury problems himself. Have a decision? He's worked hard to get him You may award the try. And yeah. he's just put New Zealand back in front. He had a couple of massive plays in the semi-final against Samoa. How big could that one be? How big could this conversion be for Kurt Baker? Baker, strokes over two more, poise under pressure. Ice in his veins, 50th turn for Kurt Baker. Does Fiji have any magic left? Are we going to see another golden point match here in LA? Or are the Kiwis going to sew this up and get their first title of the season? 28-21, seconds remaining. Fiji need to secure this possession and then go down the field. Is it going to go 10 metres? Just. Backers off black. And it lands on, on New Zealand's side. A knock on from Fiji. <laughs> New Zealand are the champions in Los Angeles. They have had to wait and wait and wait, and finally they get to taste the glory. What a final it was between two outstanding teams. Fiji left sprawled. Yutsi from New Zealand. Winners 28-21.